Hi, hello. Today we're going to do some training on stone walls. Um, normally I divide my page into four, but I kind of feel like this time around uh, I don't want to be forced to doing four things. I want to be able to do as many things as possible, uh, as many times as possible. So I'm going to refrain from splitting it into four this time. I'll come straight off the brick wall training. So I'm going to make use of the same inks and just use whatever space I have left um, to, to make some stone colour stuff. And let's see, we've got tints of red from the brick wall training, so we'll see. See how that goes. So straight away, my stone colour. So I've got some inspiration up here. Uh, just to help me out. Uh, got some sort of things here. I see it's been messed up a bit from the from the brick wall stuff. Um, so we're just going to take some 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 white, put it at the bottom here. Get some uh, the ochre. Put some here, and with enough white and ochre, we should be getting some nice. Courage. And then we just sort of have different shades of brown here as well to work with along with the white. That's sort of what I have in my head. Whether it works on paper, we'll see. Okay, just thinning up the paint that just saw me make. Okay, let's add it to the canvas. So we'll start on the left. The red, the redness from the brick wall tutorial is is coming through. Just to clear. Ah. Just need to change, change my water. It's my paint thinner just right here, so. Still getting a lot of redness out. Okay. Right. So if I put that into four, I'll now be down one. Down a bit of one at least. So let's remake some. Put some contaminated white in. Just a little bit here, some yellow ochre. Make it a bit more. Nice stone colour. Thin it out a bit. Be very careful not to touch the green here. Okay. Right. Ah, got paint in my clothes. Okay. That's nice. One bit. Get a second bit down here. I see this is my base. I need to make some more up. Making some more up behind the scenes. I 
It's more fluffy to make the same shade again. Even professional restorers will tell you that. Okay, so I need to be lighter, I think. So you just make some areas there. Right. So stone. I don't think the stone slab are that big. So we're gonna swap over to a different one. Which is a smaller one. And I just basically want to get like a slab. Not a brick, a slab. I want to go slightly darker. Alright, so we just get a slab. Alright. Sides of building, let's say. Go over it again and make it 
I think like a really dark bit. Well, I can see it's different shades. It's too much of the brick tutorial I just did. How's that? Oh, now that, that is good. That is insane. Sort of see something I think we do. Okay, so there's a gap here. Oh that just makes it really good actually. Look at from left to right. Left to right. That's kind of it's too almost full of too much of it. Let's make it sort of a bit flat. Okay, 
Try that one. Don't you know? I like what we did that, but longer, straighter. Make it look a bit more refined. I mean, kind of more like a desert horizon. We've got the brick stuff in the brick tutorial. Let's see. That just looks like a desert horizon. Oh, that's like a really good desert horizon. Oh, I really want to struggle with this one. I think that is. Okay, let's just keep it simple. I think that's just fine. I think let's go top, top, bottom right here actually. So let's say it's polished stone. It's just that, isn't it, on the builder? You just need that. All right, I see that's like a straight line. And that stone. Yeah, I think I'll think about too much there. Cool. All right. I think that's it for the stone tutorial. We've got our left to right here. Definite. Mark up, increase. Try to make your polished stone look. Ended up with a sort of savanna desert horizon. Good to know how that's done. But I think the, with the polished stone, you'd see on sort of like a sort of finishing almost in the brickwork. You just sort of leave it like that. But if you wanted to put like, well, hmm, hold on. I don't think I've quite finished yet. Just thought of something. I think I'll do like a shape. I'm going to sort of carve something out of stone and put it on all that. You just have to go really dark, don't you? You just have to go sort of like that almost. Maybe that's too dark. Go along a bit. Yeah, let's don't go too dark. That ruins it, so you have to be really careful. Use a really small brush, much smaller than what I'm using now currently, I think. Maybe even go a bit lighter. Yeah, if there's a pattern that repeats itself, you do that. So we're going along. Okay. I think that's solid. Right. That's stone wall. Hope you enjoyed working with me. I'll see you later.